Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I know it's been a long time since I put a video out, but uh, it's shedding time again where I live, and, uh, and anyone out there that fishes shad on a fly, it's uh, very fun indeed. And I just wanted to share with you a pattern that I've come up with many years ago, and I still use, and it's very been very productive for me for the shad fishing, and uh, thought I'd share it with you. So. We'll get this guy of the vise, a fresh hook in, and we'll get started here. Now, I'd recommend for a hook that you try to use one that's got a nice wide gap, like this one here. This is a Mustad size 6, 3906B, or any wide gap hook. And I'll get this locked down in the vise here. We'll get started. Okay, now, thread, it doesn't really, you don't have to be particular on your thread color. Decide so just any fluorescent color thread. I'm just using a hot orange UTC 70. But first we'll get some lead on here. We're going to weight them of course and uh, 0.15 lead wire and I'm pretty much going to cover the whole shank here. Get that wrapped on first. First step out of the way. Okay. Get that wrapped on. A couple wraps the other way. And I'll wiggle that off. Okay. Squeeze those wraps together. All right, so we'll start our thread right in front of the lead here. I'll jump the thread on, top the lead here, work it back, just like so. All right, get that started down the shank, just like so. All righty, now step off the tag end. They're not a, you don't have to worry about being too fancy with these flies as long as I just tie them so they stay together good, so they're durable. Alright, so next step is to tie our tail in. So I have about, I usually put in about five strands and for the tail I'm using some UV chartreuse crystal flash. But if you don't have UV color, the uh, regular work just as well. So we'll tie in five strands here on top. Just like so. Alright, then I'm going to fold them over. So we'll end up with 10 strands all together for the tail. Tie that back. Alrighty. Now, as far as the length goes for the tail, I like to have it about just a shade longer than the hook gate. So we'll trim that. Save our excess because I'm going to tie it. There's also going a little throat of crystal flash on the fly. Okay, next step is to tie in our first color of the body is chartreuse chenille so I'll simply catch that in on top with a pinch wrap wrap back to in front of my tail like I was saying it's a very simple tie but they do catch it then you just simply wrap your chenille forward here to where we stopped our thread about three quarters of the way up pretty much around there where you can go halfway if you like it's according to how much all of you want on the front. You can change it up. Very versatile pattern. You don't have to be particular. You can, like I say, use tons of different colors of chenille. Just the brighter colors the better I find. Pink is also another good color. So we'll snip that off and tie that off. Bind it down good. Lots of wraps. Okay. Next we'll bring in our olive chenille. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll tie that in right on top a little pinch wrap there to hold it and we'll tie it back a ways trim off some of them fuzzies out of my way wrap forward now you simply just wrap your olive chenille forward here like so usually you'll get three to four wraps here Okay, we don't want to crowd the eye because we're going to tie in a throat on this guy. Tie that off. A couple wraps behind and front to lock it in place. Alright, we'll snip that out of the way, our excess. Just like so. Alrighty. Now yeah, I still got lots of room there to tie in a throat, so I'll just flip the fly over. Just gonna trim a little bit of that out of my way there. Okay, now we'll just bring in the 
the other strands that we had left from the tail here. Okay, I got five more strands and I'm going to tie that in here. I'm going to pinch that in on underneath here, same as we did on the top. And we're going to fold it back, right back onto it here, locking it in place. So those fibers won't pull out. Now I'll swing it around. I like to, the throat to be almost to the hook point, not quite. So we'll trim those out of the way here. I left one there. We'll get that stray guy. Alright, so there's our little short throat down the fly. Yeah, we'll simply build the head up a little bit more. It doesn't have to be neat or anything. The shed don't uh, care whatsoever, so. All right, all stuff's a whip finish. We'll do that up here. And a few turns. Snip off our excess thread here. All right, then I'm just gonna bring a little bit of UV thin resin in. Just to give a little drop over my head thread wraps here to hold it all together good. There we go. Now grab my torch here and we'll cure that up. Alrighty. Give that a little shot of UV light here real quick. And that's how simple that shed fly is to tie, but it's definitely effective for the shed. Alrighty. So there we go. So that's a simple but effective shad fly pattern that I wanted to show you and uh, that you can tie in a lot of different colors, that you, any color you can come up with and give it a try. So like always, I want to thank you all for watching. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I'm going to try to get a few more in sooner this time. And I also want to try to get a few uh, fishing videos in too on this channel. So anyway. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet uh, consider subscribing I'd appreciate that subscribing I appreciate that a great deal and uh, I want to thank you all for watching and until next time happy tying out there and we'll see you again soon folks so long for now